What's up? We're all in here today on 3D Nerd Stop. I'm going to show you all a simple way to identify if your 3D model needs to be repaired and a simple way to repair it. Alright guys, here we are. I actually had one of my viewers um, ask me about repairing a model that he had downloaded and was having issues printing. So I thought I would share with y'all uh, the model and what I what I went through fixing it for him. Uh, this will be a real quick little video on this. Um, so this is the model. It's the CSGO Combat Knife. Um, it's actually a really nice model. It looks great uh, once it's printed out. Uh, he has two different versions of it. He has a smaller version, which is all one print, or he has a large version of it, which is two halves, so it can be glued together. We're going to concentrate today on the two halves that have to be glued together. So, of course, the first thing you would do, as usual, is download this model. So, I downloaded it. And after downloading it, I opened up this application called NetFab. Now, this is installed on my computer. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description down below, so you can go install it if you'd like to. Um, now, you can use this software package to repair models, but I've found that for some reason, some models it just doesn't want to repair, and I can't get it to repair some models. And this happened to be one that I couldn't get it to repair, but this application is great for pulling in a model and determining whether or not the model is watertight, okay, or airtight, however you want to phrase that. As you can see on this one, this one has errors, and it's missing an entire section through here. And if you also look at it, it also has some weird material appearing at the finger grips right here. So, in order to fix this, you could go through this and say, well, I want to repair this model and do an automatic repair on it. Default repair and execute. Okay, then you could say apply repair, remove old part, and that would repair it for the most part. Now this does, I've had this work great on some models and some models I can't get it to repair. Like this one, no matter how many times I tell it to repair, it just keeps showing this is red and saying it won't repair it. So to work around that, there's a website you can go to. Microsoft 3D printing powered by NetFab. This site works wonderfully. I have every model I've put in here so far that is needed to be repaired has come back beautifully repaired. So you just sign into it. Now, when the first time you come here, it'll ask you for all your information. Then you can just sign into it after that. Uh, you'd upload the model you want to repair. So I come in here and say, I want to repair this. So I upload it. And it takes it a minute or so to repair it. Let's just say it, bring it in. It's queuing it. And sometimes this takes a minute, depending on how busy the site is. And there you go, it's queued. Now it's repairing it. And there we go. Now it says it's repaired and you can click download. You click on download and it'll download it to your computer. Once you have it downloaded, if you want to, well, we can do this real quick in here. Come in here and remove this model real quick. And I can open this again. And I have my repaired half. And now you can see that it's completely repaired. There's no warning down here that says that there's any missing parts to this model. So this is a good model now. It is completely repaired. As you can see, it did a really good job of it. Um, you can see that the finger mess ups that were in here are now cleaned up. The blade is now completely solid, like it's supposed to be. So we have that. And now we can import it into Cura. So let's go ahead and import that. I also went ahead and fixed the B side to it too. So we can import both of them here. And we'll rotate it. And we'll click on this one. We'll do a little rotation on it. And then let's see here. Let's get them both on the build plate. And 
There we go. Let's kind of even them up here a little bit. There we go. So now we have them both on the build plate. So what we can do now is we're going to print this out. Uh, we'll do this with a 10% infill. Uh, we will do it a layer height of two, a 0 0.2. We'll do the skin, the shell thickness at 1.2 and the bottom and top at 1.2. Uh, speed at 60, temp at 210, and bed temperature at 50. Uh, this says it's going to take three hours and eight minutes. Uh, 13, basically 14 meters of material and 42 grams. So let's get the printer heated up and get it printing. So as you can see we have our two knives sides of the knife here she printed out real nice and this is a model you can tell the blade isn't really designed to ever hurt anybody it's really flimsy but it's really thin it's really nice 
looks good. It's nice quality. So what we'll do is we'll glue these two halves together. sides put together. You have to do it quickly with this Gorilla Glue because it sets really quick. Once you get this thing in place it's going to pretty much lock on to itself in about 10-15 seconds. And then that's pretty much it. Once it locks on there's no taking her back apart. together. And as you can see that's one pretty knife. And yep, that glue's a little stuck. Now of course I'll let this sit for 24 hours before I do anything else to it. And I'm probably not actually going to do anything else to this one, but it was a nice printout. It came out really nice. It looks good. And there we go. We've got our knife. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, have a great day.